Hey, this is Matt with Outdoor Legends. This week we're in Onward, part of the Mississippi Delta. It's known for the blues, cotton, catfish, and ducks. <laughs> Hey, get ready. Get up. Is that a high line run through there? Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, that was probably 50 birds in there. Yeah, that was a that was a nice group. And see, one of the well. There was two ponds we could have gone to, this one or one more uh, a little west of us. Yesterday afternoon, we didn't see any birds on this pond. They were on the other one. But every morning, we've seen more birds using this pond hmm. than any of them. And this pond has not been shot. Oh. So given the history of the last three weeks, very consistent and it not being shot. Even though we saw birds yesterday after, and on the other one, it was kind of a 50-50, but 51 over here, 49 over there. <laughs> it was a hard choice. But I think that, uh, you know, that may play into it, the fact that they were on the other pond yesterday afternoon, and plus the fact that it's raining, right? and there's some uh, weather moving in. They tend to sit down if it's gonna rain, and then when the rain stops, they'll get up and go to feeding. So uh, you know, I think there's a couple different factors working against us right here. Right. They're just trying to eat the mosquitoes. They're kind of <laughs> bothering her a little bit. Oh, I understand. But, uh, you know, the last couple of years when we were out here hunting, there's two things that you got to have. The right spot and birds. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And if you don't have both of them, you know, sometimes you don't shoot very much. <clears throat> well, I remember, I guess it was two years ago we came up here and hung with you. Uh, two or three, I can't remember. We were covered up in, I mean, it's starting at daylight. That's right. The teal. Yeah. Man, they just covered us up. But, but I understand about the weather and stuff. I mean, we've been plagued with that. The rain for September is unbelievable. Oh. I mean, duh, it is. killed dove season for us in the places we were at because really? of the rain. But yeah, yeah. And see, that's that that wild card is there too. It's been raining like nobody's business. Uh, I asked one of the local farmers yesterday, um, two doves. I said, uh, "How much rain do you think we've gotten in the last week?" And he said, eight inches." Eight inches in the last seven days. Yeah, he said fourteen inches north of here. Who? So we've kind of gotten off easy, but in years past, 
when y'all have been here, it's bone dry in September. Oh, I know. I know. And we're scrounging around trying to find a place for us to go. Right. And we've got duck ponds. Right, right. right we right. got the wettest stuff that there is. And this year, <laughs> uh, there's no shortage of places for them to, to go. Kind of spreads them out a little. So that, that'll spread them out too. So. You but, know, it, we were talking to a guy the other day about food plots, you know, just talking about deer hunting and stuff. They're not going to be as effective this year because it's been so wet. Uh -huh. There's acorns everywhere in uh -huh. the woods, you know. So, but these ducks, this is this is a nice place up here. How many acres you have up here? Three thousand. Three thousand, and uh, the South Delta Hunting Club. That's right. Yeah, it's it's a good place. We've always had fun up here. We've got lots of good ponds. We've got about twenty-five different quality places that you can go hunt ducks. Um, we've got 20 deer stands. Of course, how many deer stands can you put up on 3,000 acres? You know, you pretty much put up as many as you want to. You know? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> so we picked out the the 20 best spots, you know, because right. we don't have a whole lot of deer hunters, even though we have a lot of deer. Um, everybody joins for the ducks because the ducks are so good. and. Uh, we all, pretty much all of us, enjoy going out a few times per year and shooting deer. I killed three deer last year. <clears throat> I was trying to do my part. Three does. Um, I'm fairly selective also. We're on a deer management program. And, um, the weights on the deer, 145 pounds. 172 pounds and 173 pounds. Dang, for does. Three does. We pulled the jawbone out of the 172 pound doe and she was seven and a half years old. Is that right?